Now that Dr. David Sinclair from Harvard has been exposed as a total fraud and a liar, saying that this product right here will make people live longer and a man, let's talk about actually what makes people live longer. This is my opinion, this is from my clinical experience, and when you hear it, it's gonna make total sense. These are 550 biochemical pathways that occur in the human body. I've studied this for at least 15 years. The point is you wanna make all of this clean. It's not about supplying a single nutrient or even 10 nutrients from here. It's a matter of getting all the toxins out and organisms. So when you get all this cleaned up, then everything works better. That's the bottom line to live longer and to be healthy. That's why I created the seven step blueprint to optimal health. And these parts at the bottom here, steps two through seven are cleaning. Step one is diet. And then the last step, which is O for optimization right there, that's nourishing the body. That's adding the nutrients. But if you have a lot of toxins in your body down here, steps two through seven, what's the point of taking nutrition when you have plastics in your lungs and four foot tapeworms in your gut, et cetera, et cetera. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to talk about infections and all the possible symptoms that you can get and how to think about a variety of different organisms that need to go get cleaned out. And why would I want to talk about these infections now? I was just at a seminar where this guy's talking about mold, which I know a lot about because I had my old mold experiences, which are very devastating. And he talked about this is a serious condition. I agree. He goes, it's not like the other nuisance infections like a skin rash. I was like, wait a minute. But skin rashes are still an infection. And the more infections you have in your body, the worse off you're going to be. As a matter of fact, if you have heart disease, and you get a placking in your arteries, they have found up to 50 different organisms that are in the white blood cells that are embedded in the placking in your arteries. So the more infections you have, the worse off your heart disease is, and the worse off your cancer is, and the worse off, name the disease, name the, the symptoms, the condition, the diagnosis. The more infections you have in your body, the worse off everything is. So if you have no infections in your body, what diseases do you have? If your body is clean of all toxins in all ways, then what disease do you actually have? Potentially none. Let's talk about this. I brainstormed and topped up a whole bunch of different infections, whether they're severe or not, they all matter. You want to get them all cleaned up. So I'm going to read through this. Nail fungus, cavities, half the world's population has an untreated cavity. Bad breath indicates some problem in your stomach or mouth. H. pylori in the stomach, SIBO and SIFO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth or small intestinal fungal overgrowth. You want to get that stuff cleaned up. Dandruff, and you can have a fungus on your scalp, or it could be a little bit underneath the eye. That's called blepharitis dandruff. So I actually just went to a regular dermatologist because I got bit by a deer fly on my leg. Three weeks later, it was still infected. But they said, oh, look, you have a little dandruff underneath on your lower eyelids, both sides. And I was like, wait, what are you talking about? And they said, it's like dandruff, but it's the lower eyelid. So they recommended some things for that. So even that is an infection. It's a fungus. So you can have, I, I wrote ringworm. I put acne, chronic cold and flu, chronic fevers, undulating fevers. Maybe just have fevers at night. That's your immune system trying to get rid of an infection. Sinus infections, that means runny nose, allergies. You can say, oh, it's just seasonal allergies. No, that's still an organism in your body, and that's what creates the mucus. An ear infection, itchy ears, uh, redness there, skin rash anywhere, feet, groin. Um, it could be a fungus, could be a virus, any kind of skin rash, asthma. That could be an organism in your lungs, bronchitis, pneumonia, tonsillitis, swollen glands, lymph glands here, hepatitis. Now we're getting serious pancreatitis. You can have chronic pancreatitis. Nanobacteria in the heart, there's an organism called Nanobacterium sanguinum. Kidney infection, kidney stones, which can lead to an infection, but kidney stones are actually a result of infections, organisms creating mucus, and mucus hardens into stones. A UTI, that can be chronic, it can be coming and going. I've had women who get two UTIs per year for five years. That's a chronic problem, needs to be taken care of 100%. Arthritis, that can be an infection. It could be an infection in the joints, it could be in the liver it could be in the mouth i i've told this story before we've had a person swish with hydrogen peroxide in his mouth all of his arthritis went away next i have viruses epstein-barr virus mono 
cytomegalovirus, HIV, RSV, respiratory. So you can have Lyme in the muscles. That includes the infection of Borrelia burgdorferi or the co-infections, Babesia, Bartonella, Ehrlichia, Anaplasma. And those are discovered with uh, special lab tests where they have to look inside the cells. You can have a cavitation in your jaw from a bad root canal or a tooth extraction site. These are, they can be deadly. These can cause cancer. They can cause heart placking. You can have parasites in the gut. This is a bigger deal than what all of medicine will tell you. The parasites could be anywhere else in the body. They travel anywhere they want to travel. Candidiasis, so you're eating some fruit and then you get bloated. White coating on the tongue. Meningitis, now we're talking deep central nervous system. It could be acute, severe, life-threatening. It could be chronic causing migraines. Any autoimmune disease, that's an infection. And this was known by all the doctors from the 1930s through the 1960s that an autoimmune disease starts with an infection. Now we've forgotten about that. Now autoimmune diseases are treated symptomatically and it's so sad because you want to get the organism out. This is the mechanism. You have an, a chronic infection and that infection is attacking an organ, maybe multiple organs, maybe all tissues, but let's just say it's only attacking your thyroid. Now you have autoimmune thyroiditis. The immune system is fighting this infection and it's losing, it's losing, it's losing. And the immune system gets tired and it gets confused and it starts attacking the thyroid. So the medical treatment is addressing the thyroid instead of attacking the original infection that caused the autoimmune situation in the first place. There's some really fancy drugs out there now to address a variety of autoimmune diseases, but I think results would be much better when you get to the original cause. Now I can do the same thing with a list of all the potential toxins in your body. Metals, chemicals, radiation. And under the chemicals uh, category, it includes plastics. And now we know that bottled water in a plastic bottle has a certain number of microplastics, but also nanoplastics in large quantities. They're so small. 10 to the minus 9. That's what nano means. And this has been discovered because the technology of detecting plastic in water is so much greater just recently. So now it's time to stop using bottled water. But getting back to these chronic infections, what's the best way to get rid of all of them? You have to make your immune system super strong like a freight train. It's not about taking the next antibiotic, antiviral, antiparasitic drug. It's about getting your immune system really, really strong. And how do you do that? You get rid of the toxins. And the less toxicity you have in your body, the stronger everything else works. Everything here works better the less toxins you have. And this is the deal with all the chronic illness. It's a load of toxins and a load of organisms that need to get cleaned out. That's step one. Then you start nourishing. Get this forever embedded in your head so you're not swayed by the next pharmaceutical ad and the small thinking of one chemical blocking one enzyme in the body and that's going to like fix your disease. No, it's a holistic approach. You got to think big and you got to think comprehensively and you have to think over the course of many months or even years to get your health back. I've been on YouTube for 11 years now. Never once have I ever asked for you to buy anything. And now I am. I have an ebook to describe all this. The cost is $4.99. You get hundreds of dollars worth of bonuses and free courses along with it. It's a very comprehensive package. This is my life's work. It's time to put your money where your mouth is to replace the failed system of squashing symptoms. Improving your health is a completely different science and philosophy than what medicine provides. Click on the link below.